The chick bounced. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got some work to do, so we're just gonna grab a random quest. Ah, uh, we can say hi to our good girl Raytheon. Go to the lava cavern. We got some stuff. We got some exciting things to talk about. So let's head to the lava caverns. And I, don't, I, I like the lava caverns. They're not bad, but where the fuck are we? This doesn't look like the lava caverns. All right, fuck it. ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Hunter Wilds Beta. Oh my God. Look at this fucking game. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my sister. When I told her about the whole thing, she said, you are more than welcome to borrow my PS5 for the time being. So yes, let's uh, shout out to Sister Defenseless. She's a fucking OG for this one. But now, here's the plan. Uh, just to get some, some groundwork done before we get into this, I wanted to say Lance Week is being pushed back a little bit. Don't worry, Lance Bros. You're actually not getting less of a week because of this. You're getting more. So next week, we'll will be the full week of Lance Week. This week will be partially Lance Week and then into, you know, three episodes of Monster Hunter Wilds Beta. And then we're going to probably live stream it a lot over on the Twitch channel. If you want, follow us over there. We're gonna be playing this a sh But if you have questions, let me know. I'll try them out. Um, <coughs> other than that, uh, we got a lot of shit to talk about. Holy shit. First impressions of this game. One, we've already been through sort of like the tutorial in the beginning. Shit. We're about to fall to our deaths. It's great. I think the plan's gonna be for this week. I want to do just like half a quest with each weapon uh, because you can switch between weapons very easily. So for this first one, we're gonna do lance and longsword, and then I'm just gonna do, you know, weapons. Uh, I'm gonna be messing around with them. I don't have a very advanced knowledge of pretty much any of these weapons. So if you're coming here for gameplay, you're not going to be seeing advanced shit. You're going to be seeing a dumbass play with weapons who has barely any idea what the is happening. So that's, that's essentially what you're getting into. Now, let's talk about weapons. Oh my God, this weapon, all weapons. Okay, weapons in this game either feel incredibly light or they feel incredibly heavy. Everything has that to it. Uh, I think it's because I've been playing Rise at the moment, but good Lord, everything just has a certain oomph to it. And it's, it's nice. A lot of this game is nice. This does feel like a worthy successor to World. It feels a lot like World. It feels like everything's been in really like taken up a notch. Uh, you see right there, the monster had a cut on its face. Now it does not because we did it. So hold on, let me explain this. Uh, when you hold down the left trigger, you go into this like aiming mode, which allows you to aim your attacks better, whether that's towards, you know, ahead or whatever the fuck it is. They let you basically change the direction of your attacks. You have access to another attack. It's like the bumper button. Doesn't really matter. You'll get used to it. Uh, that allows you to pop in wounds and make them worse and also get more items off of a monster, which is fun. <laughs> you can just check them. I think a lot of these weapons are very, very heavy. And granted, we are playing against the equivalent of a great Jagras right now. This guy is not meant to be difficult at all. He's not meant to be anything major. He's just a little bullfrog guy. He just wants to be loved. We respect that. I see he has a cut on his chin. I'm going to exploit that. <laughs> yeah, the Lance is very nice in this game. Not my favorite. I will show off my favorite in today's episode. And then tomorrow's episode, we'll probably do like three, maybe four hunts today. All we need is seven hunts, and we've shown off every weapon at least once. So I think I think we're doing pretty decent. I'm kind of interested in the bow guns, I will admit. I'm very fascinated in them, but I'll probably leave them for tomorrow's episode. If we still have access to the beta, what we'll probably do is by maybe the last day of Lance Week, the Steam beta might be open, so we might be just playing through the tutorial on the last day and then showing off some of the monsters there. But other than that, oh, you got a little, you got a little wound on your taint, buddy. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Not that bad. You just can't have children anymore. It's gone. <laughs> It's gone! Yeah, slightly disappointed that there are no um, Red Dead Redemption 2 style uh, testicles and reproductive organs. That's what I was really hoping for in this game. And I think with our weapon being low on sharpness, we can we can switch over to our other weapon, which this is cool. The whole being able to switch between weapons is nice for learning weapons. And I think you're gonna see sort of like weapon families become a thing where it's like skills overlap between these two weapons so heavily that you might as well bring both of them. The one that comes to mind is like charge blade and gun lance. They're both so fucking close to one another that I would honestly say if you're going to play one, you're probably going to keep the second in there because like guard, artillery, all those skills, they're going to make a difference on both of those weapons and they're just going to overlap really beautifully. 
No. I just want there to be a reason to do it. Uh, moving over to the longsword now. Longsword, once again, feels paper light, which is good. Like, it just feels fast and snappy. Uh, something that someone in chat told me is that now with the new aiming movements, what you can do with the longsword is basically never miss because you can just keep your sh on it. You'll never miss your uh, little spirit slashes. It's fucking cool. Well, he's leaving, so let's get on his ass. And not to mention it, but I've already recorded this. The audio fucked up. So instead of doing a dub over, I just decided to re-record it. But kids, when you do new uh, new stuff, always check your recordings and do a couple of tests. I had my audio overlapping with games, so it was just like, you could hear the cat more than you could hear me and I couldn't separate them out. So whatever, we're doing a little bit more recording. It's no problem. The mounting system, once again, has become more or less like, uh, I, I wanna say like more vague as time has gone on. Originally, when you had that bar at the bottom of your screen, it was pretty obvious. Like, okay, here's what you do. But I feel like uh, in world, it got more vague. There we go. Wow, ripping that just puts you straight into red? That's crazy. Yeah, longsword boys, you guys are gonna have some fun times here in the new, in the new game. This thing is lit. This poor f***ing bullfrog. Uh, let's show off another thing. You can see my health is kind of lowish. It's not- Oh, cat! Okay, well, the cat healed me. I was gonna say, uh, on my, uh, wheel, I can now do optimal healing wep- or items. So I don't have to think, oh, is it better to use a fucking herb? Is it better to use a fucking normal potion? What is it? Instead, the game just does it! Isn't that cool? Yeah, the cat just picked up his trap! That's fucking dope! The cat just does that. He put down a trap. It was bad. Bad placement. That's okay. You going back to your little home? It's okay, bud. I'll just kill you there. I can I can grant you that request. Now look at this. Jeez. All right, come on. Give me the wound. Immediately into red. That's crazy. Yeah, longsword. Longsword's good. Longsword's very good here. Yeah, dead. Dead. Let me show off one of my favorite features. Look at this. Dead monsters have collision now, so I can like step up on them. Granted, I still clip through them a little bit, but that's really cool. For taking photos against like a dead fatalis and you want to take that photo that you look like a middle-aged white man who's killed a fucking lion in Africa. It's like, yeah, we did it. You can do that now. Dude, Monster Hunter has gone wild. Roll credits. This game is fucking crazy. This game is really good. Uh, my, my overall impressions are very, very positive. A lot of this feels good. I The only thing that I can say I don't like is the fact that when you first start the game and you're first introduced to this area, you're not immediately thrown into like a good weather for it, I think. It, everything looks gray. If you want, you can look at the Twitch for like the next seven 14 days and you can see my like first impressions over there during the live stream the vod's up but it looks really gray in the beginning and it feels like it's starting on a weaker foot but when you see like the better weather conditions like everything looks like this which it's like i don't know maybe on a 4k tv screen uh right now i'm going through an old elgato hd60 not an hd60 pro so this is not like a great capture card that's why we're we, we don't look perfect but like everything just the colors look a little weird they look a little washed out and shit which is totally fine however it, it, it's a little weird that the game starts you off with an area that looks kind of shitty, as opposed to weather that looks really good so let's change up weapons let's go great sword and let's go sword and shield for our secondary Ooh, let's grill up a meal debut <sighs> like look at the weather difference on like the brightest shit sun everything looks like blown out a little bit but god damn, does it look beautiful. Oh, oh, that's where the items are. Cool. There's no item box now. It's all in your scarret or sacred. Prank him, John. Can assassinate his ass. Jesus Christ. The great sword is heavy as hell. Well, it's both heavy and light. It's weird. It's in this weird middle ground. It feels being excellent though there's so much good i don't think there's a single weapon that i didn't really like dual blades took me a minute but that's because i'm just like dual blades in general are probably s some of the weapons i struggle with the most but i did stick with them for a little bit during stream and i ended up liking them a little bit more as time went on i will say not sure how much of a fan i am of the game just outright telling you like the monster's ready for capture like the palico does that a lot so i, I don't know 
Personally, I like it more if you can visually see it, you know, show, don't tell type. And we still do have that, like, uh, skull mark over the monster. In addition to that, there is sort of the thing in Rise where the game does tell you where the monster is. And I don't know, maybe that's gonna change because this is the beta and they don't want people, like, how the f*** do you do this, you know? So, I, I, I don't know. I, I personally hope that we have almost, like, more more searching to do, if that makes sense. Now, I still don't know how to do it. There's like a challenge or something like that, where it's like, if a monster charges you, you can stand your ground or some shit. I really don't know how the f*** you do that yet. <laughs> so, I've only done it accidentally once and it was not against this frog boy. All right, all right, that's enough. That's enough of the great sword. We're, we're f busting on this little shit. Scare it. Now, if you hit right on the D-pad, your scare will run to you and immediately help you switch weapons. I mean, what I'm thinking is like, look, if you look up at the weapon sharpness, I could see the game maybe having like, I could see a monster having debuffs, which are like, you can't sharpen your weapon for a few minutes. I could definitely see that being a total debuff, which would encourage someone to switch weapons. I think there's a lot of interesting shit that the game could do to encourage people to switch. I just don't know what though. Like, we haven't been shown anything. I, I really hope the game does have ways of encouraging people to be like, you can't single weapon focus this game. You have to, like, focus on multiple. You, you have to be comfortable with at least two weapon types, you know? Rather than, like, the estimate, which is that people are like, oh, it's just gonna be everyone carries a hunting horn and the other one. Like, their other primary weapon, just because hunting horn can do shit and, like, boost you, you know? What is there to say about the sacreds? The sacreds are really cool. I like them a lot. Oh, look at that. You can't carve on the back of them. Interesting. Um, you basically switch between a mode that's similar to the Palamutes, where you can completely control the direction that they go, like I'm doing right now, or you can let them go, and they're like the Raider Riders, where they will just go to the monster. They will track it down. Really cool upgrade to the scare, or to like the mounts in general. They feel nice. I'm just gonna wake them up. Unfortunately, Sword and Shield is not getting too much playtime here. <laughs> we sort of beat the f*** out of this thing with the sword, or with the great sword. How are we already on f***ing destroyed sharpness? Yeah, whatever. Just sharpen. What's the worst that happens? Prank him, John. There we go. Got the jugular. I think the dual blades actually have my favorite attack for a wound. That sh is nasty. Let me stab your ass. There we go. Well, technically there's three monsters. There's this guy, there's the dog and bear thing, and then there is a boss that you're really not supposed to be able to fight, but you can do it anyways. It's supposed to be like the toughest thing here. The apex, the railgun motherfucker, or whatever the hell that's called, which is cool. Oh, check this out. See this little mining outcrop? Look at how fucking sick this animation is. Focus on the crystals. Deaky, deaky, ho you just fucking turn them to powder, dude. Oh, it looks so good. Everything just looks so fucking tasty. Everything's so crisp. This is the first time I've been, like, able to play on a PS5. Dude, this stuff is fucking crazy. The loading times are so good. I don't want to sell that. Just give it to me. Loading times are fucking lightning quick. It's weird. It's a weird generational jump. I feel like I need to upgrade my computer now. <laughs> like, after playing this, I'm like, oh, shit, can I run this? We'll, we'll find out. What's our last set going to be? I think we're gonna do hammer and then secondary. Yeah, we can do switch axe. It's not a bad combination. I probably should eat first. Get off it. I mean, it's kind of weird that you have to eat in your camp, but I'm pretty sure the idea is that right now at the story, we're at a point where nothing's set up and maybe that's just because of the uh, demo, but stuff like, you know, you can't go to the Smithy because she's like, I'm still prepping. This guy over here is clearly the supply guy. He's like, fuck off. And then this is clearly where you're going to be eating. And like, holy shit. Like, look at them. God, they have a lot of pumpkins. A lot of fucking pumpkins. All right, let's go back. Let's kill this uh, little frog guy again. Yeah, that's cool. I, I was always wondering, like, during the live stream last night, where the fuck are all the supplies? Because I couldn't find them. They're just in the scare. That's cool. That's really fucking cool. Hell yes, the cat who refuses to use the cat door just used the cat door for the first time. Fucking awesome. Hey buddy, you want to get hit in the face with my favorite fucking weapon? 
I'm sorry, Switch Axe mains, that it got paired with the hammer. The hammer is at the top of my fucking list. This thing is meaty as hell. This is my favorite weapon so far. Fucking hell. This thing is nasty. I, I've mentioned it before. The combat feels both heavier and lighter, which is everything's in a good way. I feel like the monsters have more weight to them, which I think comes from a lot of things. Like, look, right now. Come on. There we go. Looking for the blood, dude. I will say, I like the new sharpening icon where the whole thing is green. It's not like in a. It's not like where you'd see the weapon's sharpness degrade throughout it and you see like a multicolored weapon, but the outside of it is one color. God. Let me get your arm. Oh, this is nasty. God, that attack is so cool. God, literally, I, I'm busting over this game already. This game feels so good. It really does. It feels like a proper sequel to World, where everything just feels dialed up. I mean, we saw, like, a monster pack that we had to separate, and it was, like, a real threat when they were in a pack. We tried f***ing with them before separating them, and it was like, no, don't even do it. Don't even. I mean, I really want to see something like Devil Joe in this engine. I mean, they would definitely make him f***ing eat some of these monsters. All right, Switch Axe time. Uh, Switch Axe ain't bad. I have a little bit of experience with it since, you know, I failed the fucking first recording of this episode. But that being said, the Switch X is kind of neat. It combos very nicely with itself here. And I don't necessarily know. It's it's one of the weapons that I consider is more of like an advanced weapon where watching a tutorial about it will tremendously help you. And I can feel that here just because it does seem like there's a lot that I'm just not understanding about it. But even without that understanding, it still feels just strong as shit still feels like it's got some wicked nasty combos and like you can do good damage with it no matter what the axe mode feels heavy the sword mode feels like a mix between long sword and great sword so kind of typical for the switch axe i don't know man i'm very I'm, I'm enjoying a lot of this game so far there we go that's interesting i just noticed that we got a, a hide plus that's weird usually the plus is supposed to be for high rank monsters only interesting it looks like the monster dropped his wallet i want to be able to smell its fear so yeah i think the plan will be for this week we're just gonna do some basic basic overview of the weapons today and tomorrow then uh, when we unlock the game on steam i'll show off like the tutorial and then we'll go through and just smash through um really the tougher monsters with weapons that i want to use more I think that we should be good by the end of this. By the end of the week, we'll be probably like, we'll, we'll, we will have seen most of it. I don't know if we'll go after the big boy. We might. I've heard from someone in our Discord that it's not that bad to go after him. Uh, but I'll definitely, if I'm going to do that, I'm doing that on the Steam version. We ain't doing that on my sister's account. She can do that herself. Look, that little sand guy's in the background. I don't know if you can hunt those. Maybe. Who knows? Someone in the comments might know. I'm gonna switch back over to Hammer, just to smash its skull in. I love the Hammer in this already. The Hammer feels so good. Look at this bling b- Yeah, <laughs> good luck, idiot. Just gonna smash you to pieces with part of an anvil. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Lance Week will be delayed. Also, I wanna shout out this comment. Someone left a fucking huge comment in the last video talking about all of this stuff that we can do. Editing defenseless, pull it up. There it is, beautiful stuff. I will hopefully save this and then go over it when we return to Lance Week so that I know what the fuck I'm doing. But as for right now, I'll see you in tomorrow's episode where we'll briefly touch over some more weapons and then uh, I'll see you for the rest of the week. So, have a great rest of your day. If you want, join the Discord and call your mother. Tell her you love her. Bye. Also, shout out my sister. It's very kind. Thank you.